Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, we are into the episode 2 of AI Tech News and we'll try to see the recent development in the world of AI. So if you are new to this particular channel, please do subscribe to the channel, press the bell notification icon because in this specific playlist, I'll be uploading a lot of videos related to innovations, related to new things that are happening in the world of AI and we'll also talk about leaders who are working in this AI industry. So let's go ahead without wasting any time. So the first article is about Gartner's latest hype cycle. So that report of 2020 have come out. So from that particular report, it says that AI dominates Gartner's latest hype cycle for emerging technologies. Now, this is pretty much amazing, guys, because Gartner usually do all this kind of surveys and they'll basically come to know that which is the latest technologies, which is in trend. Similarly, one of the uh, reports are related to the hype cycle. So of the 30 emerging technologies featured in the Gartner's latest hype cycle, nine are directly related to artificial intelligence. Now, this shows the importance of AI, guys. How? Because based on this particular report, you know, many leaders take steps in the company, like how they should proceed, what kind of de development they should do in the company. So from that 30 emerging technologies, you can see that we have something like generative adversarial networks, that is GAN. We have adaptive machine learning, composite AI, generative AI, responsible AI, AI augmented development, embedded AI, explainable AI, AI augmented design. Now you can see that this nine have been featured in the top 30 emerging technologies. Now this basically shows the importance of AI guys. Many people are really, really serious. From my experience, I've seen people doing a lot of things, thinking about AI, how they can implement those things in solving their common business problem. And if you see in the right hand side of this, guys, and obviously you can get all these particular details, uh, just search for Gartner's latest high cycle 2020 reports. Uh, the link of that particular report will be given in the description of this particular video. Apart from that, you can also see this particular diagram, which are the other technologies, 30 other technologies that are actually making uh, name in the field of a, uh, the innovations category itself and the emerging technologies category itself. So uh, you can see over here, you have something called as innovation trigger, you have peak of infl inflated expectation, trough of delusionment, uh, slope of enlightenment, uh, plenty of productivity, right? So let's go with the next article. So the next article is pretty much amazing. Um, the White House is set to boost AI funding by 30%. Now, again, this is an amazing news for the people who are really, really interested into AI, machine learning and deep learning. Not only White House guys, not only US, because indirectly, if I talk about developing countries, uh, the benefit out of all this kind of investment from the developed countries itself, because there, is, there are chances that many projects will also be coming to the development, developing countries. Now, if in this particular case, if you see that, if, if in the US, the government is actually trying to boost the AI funding by 30%, there'll be a lot of work that will be coming in US itself. Apart from that, that will indirectly benefit all the developing countries. So uh, uh, there are three main points that were discussed in this particular article. A budget proposal from the White House would boost funding by AI by around 30% as the US aims to retain its technology supremacy, right? Countries around the world are vastly increasing the budgets for AI with good reasons. Just look at Gartner hype cycle release now based on the Gartner hype cycle see guys how it is related right Gartner hype cycle 2020 report had come and clearly they had mentioned that out of the 30 emerging technologies nine were related to AI so definitely now countries will think on investing on AI so in India also you know the funding has actually been increased by some percentage and yes government are also focusing on implementing AI in various things right so hype cycle released to see how important the technology is accepted to do over the decade. Even Russian president uh, famously said that back in 2017, that nation which leads in AI will become the ruler of the world. And this is actually true, guys, because uh, people who are actually working in AI, they are actually using those data, understanding people's behavior and doing many things. Not only this, they are coming up with problem statements that will be solved. That is a common problem for the human being itself right they're solving those kind of problem which is pretty much important right now let let us go to the next article again this is related to the previous article guys global spending on ai expected to double in four years says idc so if you don't know about idc guys it is international data corporation 
So worldwide spending on artificial inter- intelligence is forecast to double over the coming four years to hit 110 billion by 2024, according to the new data from IDC. The figure, which comes from the analyst firm's latest worldwide artificial intelligence spending guides, calculates a CAGR of 20.1 percent as adopting AI becomes a must in the enterprise. Now, this is the reason why I'm telling you guys, data science is a technique that can be applied in any domain. So this is an amazing technologies. One or the other day, you have to study this. You have to learn this. This is a wonderful time for you all guys. Now, enterprises are coming up. They are investing. They're they're creating some amazing products. It's your time. You just have to study things. You have to learn things. You have to understand how AI works. Trust me, you will be building your future, right? Now, coming to the next, uh, and again, it is from the IDC itself. Uh, half of AI projects fails for one in the four companies. So this was also an article that was written. And I had also made this specific video in my data science channel, which is pretty much important. Now, you can see that research from IDC has found out that Half of AI projects fails for one in four companies on average. And this is actually true. This is, I've also seen this guys. My experience also says that there are two leading reasons for an AI project failing are, according to this particular article, lack of required skill, unrealistic expectations. So please guys, this is the time they are work. Learn AI. It will definitely be helpful for you all. IDC research found has found that 25% 25% of the business using AI have deployed an enterprise-wide strategy, okay? So if you take an example of Amazon, if you take example of Netflix, Google, they're doing a lot of things in the field of AI, right? Uh, Neuralink, uh, I think you have heard of it. Yes, probably that will be coming in my episode 3, where I'll be discussing about Neuralink and GPT-3, which is an amazing thing that I've come up recently. And uh, yes, uh, this was all about this particular video, guys. But at the end of the day, I really want to specify with respect to AI, you know, if you see this many articles coming with respect to the hype cycle, the country investing so much, different, different countries investing so much in the field of AI, um, you know, and apart from that, even IDC saying you that, yes, the world is also going to invest so much. I just want to ask you, like, what is stopping you to learn? Because I've never seen this kind of technology And probably I think at one point of time, people have to learn this uh, because it can do a whole lot of thing with respect to different different uh, fields, right? Or domains that you are actually working in. So uh, please make sure that you start learning. Uh, This is important in the upcoming five years. You know, the world will be different. There'll be a lot of changes that are going to come up, right? So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.